The Semtech Lassar Trace Gas Analyzer consists of the combination of scanning lasers and low-pressure sampling technologies. The combined patented technologies enable a measurement of gases from parts per billion to percent levels, with no interference. The analyzer was demonstrated to experience no drift of instrumental response over time, and does not require the use of zero gas. Low pressure sampling enables operation without sampling conditioning for most applications. Scanning lasers enable a measurement of several gases using a single laser. The Semtech Lasar is a direct intensity measurement spectrometer. It does not rely on ring down time measurement to calculate gas concentrations. This simple spectrometer consists of a laser scanning 200 wavelengths every 100 millisecond. A resonant cavity gas cell providing up to 20 kilometers of path length for increased sensitivity, a detector that does not require liquid nitrogen cooling. The gas cell is only 25 milliliters in volume, allowing for fast response. No fiber optics are required, neither in the construction nor the operation of the analyzer. The Semtech Lassar offers wide dynamic range response. In this experiment, the analyzer was calibrated for the measurement of water vapor from 1 parts per million to 1% volume. Validation results were obtained over the 1 to 8,000 parts per million range. Linearity of instrumental response over that range was characterized by a determination coefficient R of 0.99996. The Semtech Lassar can be calibrated for trace concentration in high concentration ranges. The optical resolution of one picometer enables the observation of very narrow energy absorption bands. At that level of resolution, each gas features a large number of absorption bands in the infrared region, sometimes numbered in the thousands. Careful selection of the absorption bands measured allows the calibration of the analyzer over wide ranges of concentrations. For instance, weak absorption bands will be selected for high concentration calibration ranges. Strong absorption bands will be selected for trace concentration calibrations ranges. The Semtech Lassar was demonstrated to be very accurate for the measurement of greenhouse gases methane and nitrous oxide. These experimental results comparing measurements obtained with the spectrometer with that of a gas chromatograph are proposed by Mr. Chapelais from the Spectroscopy Laboratory of the University of Grenoble. Mr. Chapelais reports, for low-level methane concentrations, about 394 parts per billion measurements by GC, versus 395 measured by spectrometry. A bias error of only 1 parts per billion. For high levels of methane concentrations, about 1584 parts per billion measurements by GC, versus 1586 parts per billion measured by spectrometry. A bias error of 2 parts per billion. For medium levels of methane concentrations, GC measurements ranging from 705 to 710 parts per billion versus 709 parts per billion measured by spectrometry. The accuracy of the measurement for nitrous oxide, N2O, was also measured in this published experiment. For N2O, Mr. Chapelais reports, for low-level N2O concentrations, about 174 parts per billion measurements by GC, versus 178 measured by spectrometry. A bias error of 4 parts per billion. For high levels and 2 all concentrations, about 294 parts per billion measurements by GC, versus 296 parts per billion measured by spectrometry. A bias error of 2 parts per billion. For medium levels and 2 all concentrations, GC measurements ranging from 265 to 270 parts per billion versus 268 parts per billion measured by spectrometry. Signal integration time was only one second in this experiment. The Semtech Lassar relies on low pressure sampling and very high resolution spectroscopy to minimize interferences in the measurement. In its standard configuration, the Semtech Lassar accepts gas sample pressures at the sample intake point ranging from 0.5 to 2.0 bars. A vacuum pump draws the gas sample through a critical orifice, lowering the pressure inside the entire gas flow sampling assembly, to typical values of 50 to 100 millibar. 
a proportional valve enables pressure regulation at 0.1 millibar throughout the sample system. When gas pressure is lowered inside the gas cell, the bandwidth of the absorption bands is reduced. As an illustration of this physical phenomenon, this slide shows the spectrum of a mixture of 1 ppm of hydrochloric acid, HCl, 1000 parts per million of nitric oxide, NO, and 10% volume of water vapor measured at 35 degrees C. This is what the spectrum looks like if measured at atmospheric pressure, 1000 millibar, in the gas cell. When lowering the pressure to half of atmospheric pressure, 500 millibars, we observe that absorption bands are being resolved from the original spectrum. As pressure in the gas cell is further reduced, resolution of the absorption bands from each other continues to improve. When pressure reaches 50 millibars, 1 20th of atmospheric pressure, absorption bands are clearly resolved from each other. There is no spectral overlapping between absorption bands. In this example, we observe that hydrochloric acid, HCl, can be measured at the sub-PPM level by direct intensity spectroscopy without interference from 10% of water vapor. The Semtech LASAR is equipped with many sensors that monitor all possible source of instrumental response drift as a function of time. An example of this proactive self-stabilization technology is the 100 millisecond time resolution monitoring of the variation of intensity of the laser infrared light source. Every 100 milliseconds, the variation of intensity of the laser source from the time the analyzer was calibrated at the factory is measured and compensated for, enabling stabilization of instrumental response as a function of time. In this experiment conducted by the Center for Atomic Energy, a spectrometer was calibrated for the measurement of trace methane in outdoor ambient air. The blue trace represents the spectrometer response over a period of 11 days without recalibration. A measurement was provided every 5 seconds. The red trace represents the response of a gas chromatograph run in parallel for the same period. The gas chromatograph was equipped with an auto-calibration system. It was automatically recalibrated every 30 minutes. The red straight lines correspond to periods during which the GC did not function. The bottom part of the graph shows the bias between the spectrometer and the GC response over 11 days. The accuracy of the measurement was 1% relative to the measured concentration, plus or minus 20 parts per billion. We observed that the spectrometer did not drift over the 11 days period of the experiment. The Semtech Lasar relies on direct intensity measurement at 200 wavelengths scanned every 100 millisecond. The upper spectrum is the raw spectrum collected by the instrument, in this case a spectrum of ammonia. We distinctly observe direct intensity measured for each wavelength scanned. The bottom spectrum is the absorbance spectrum calculated from the raw spectrum for purpose of illustration. We observe three clear ammonia absorption bands allowing for the measurement of ammonia. We also observe regions of zero absorbance. These regions of zero absorbance are used to automatically re-zero the spectrometer every 100 milliseconds. The Semtec Lasar does not require regular re-zero. The zero information is contained in the spectrum itself. Due to the use of low pressure sampling, the Semtec Lasar does not require sample conditioning for most applications. Low pressure, 50 to 100 millibars absolute is maintained in the entire gas sampling assembly, starting at the sampling point. As illustrated by this water phase diagram, reducing pressure lowers dew point temperatures. Typical gas analysis solutions operating at atmospheric pressures require to heat up the gas sample in order to maintain water vapor in gas phase. Here, lowering pressure of the gas sample lowers dew point temperatures. This enables operating the analyzer at lower overall temperatures without risk of condensation. More specifically, a Semtec Lasar can be operated without sample conditioning at ambient level temperatures, even for the analysis of gases containing high concentration of water vapor. If the operating temperature drops below the dew point temperature, only mild heating of the sample lines is required. The Semtec Lasar is a scanning laser spectrometer. Wavelength accuracy is controlled at 0.01 picometer by means of temperature control of the laser. 
varying temperature to change the laser wavelength is a slow process. It also may compromise wavelength accuracy. In the case of the Semtec Lassar, a current ramp is applied to the laser to change the emission wavelength. This technique allows for very fast scanning of a large number of wavelength. This technique yields 200 data point spectra every 100 milliseconds. By not changing laser temperature, this technique does not compromise wavelength accuracy nor reproducibility. A benefit of collecting 200 data point spectra instead of single wavelength intensity measurement is that more than one gas can be measured using a single laser. In this example, using a laser set at about 2.33 microns, a single scanning laser can be used for the simultaneous measurement of trace carbon monoxide, 100 parts per billion and less, trace methane, sub-ppm, trace ammonia, 100 parts per billion and less, and percent level water vapor. Many more examples can be proposed as the use of non-fibred lasers provides access to spectral information in the 0.6 to 3.3 micron spectral range using tunable diode lasers. The following gases can be measured in ambient air using the Semtec Lassar, diatomics such as H2 and O2, sulfur containing compounds, H2S, SO2, SO3, COS, CS2, oxides such as H2O, CO and CO2, nitrogen containing compounds, N2O, NO, NO2, NH3, HCN, halogenates, HF, HCl. HBr, low molecular weight hydrocarbons such as methane, ethane, acetylene and ethylene alcohols and aldehydes such as methanol, ethanol, formaldehyde and acetaldehyde. Most of these gases can also be measured in automotive emissions applications. Calibration ranges and limits of detection available upon request. Other gases may be available. Please contact us for more information. As a conclusion, the Semtec Lassar is an integrated trace gas analyzer solution combining the performances of a higher resolution scanning laser and low pressure sampling. The analyzer enables trace gas analysis without interference, without drift, and requires no sample conditioning for most applications. Lastly, the scanning laser enables measurement of multiple gases in auto zero using a single laser. For more information about the Semtec Lassar and other products, please visit www.sensors-inc.com.